Up first is an indie movie made in Kansas, which has gone on to become something of a cult classic. It's Carnival of Souls from 1962, directed by Herc Harvey and written by John Clifford. It's the story of a woman who, after a nearly fatal car crash, becomes obsessed with a rundown carnival site. At its core is a theme of wanting to belong in the world while also fighting against the inability to run away from the problems in your past. As one character says early in the film, if she's got a problem, it'll go right along with her. But I'm not sure she was expecting zombies. Carnival of Souls is a fascinating movie. There are no established actors in the film. The star is a New York-based method actress named Candace Hillegoss, making her movie debut here. Turns out, she's only been credited in one other movie, another horror flick made two years later in 1964 called The Curse of the Living Corpse. Most of the other actors are amateurs director Herc Harvey worked with on a number of educational and institutional films. When released in 1962, the movie shared a double bill with the Lon Chaney Jr. horror flick, The Devil's Messenger. It did well, but the company that released it went bankrupt, so Herc Harvey didn't make any money off of it. From 1962, a movie the director calls an exercise in weirdness, here's the very indie Carnival of Souls. Yep, she was dead the whole time and didn't know it. An unknown zombie, but a uh, much more attractive one than most. Now, that carnival phantom that haunts Mary throughout the film was actually director Herc Harvey. The reason he played that role was twofold. He couldn't afford another actor, and it didn't require him to memorize any lines. 